Hello everyone, this is Russell aka the Tuba Keek coming to you with a 75 day DDP yoga update. Um, I do realize I did not put up a 60 day update. Um, I got busy dealing with some uh, more personal slash family matters so I didn't get a chance to get a video recorded and uh, so you know to quote John Lennon, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. So my apologies. Um, I'm hoping that we'll, there'll be some more regular updates again uh, once I can kind of straighten out my schedule again a little bit. Um, back on my normal work schedule, so it should get a little bit better. Um, I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has left comments or um, left comments or left feedback on my journey. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm not one who asks for subscriptions, likes, or favorites because, well, that's not what this is here for. This is here for me to chronicle what's what I'm doing in my journey and to hold myself accountable by having the entire internet's hearing or seeing what I'm saying. Um, that being said, um, I really would not be where I am if it weren't for not only you, but also members of Team DDP Yoga um, was become known as the best damn support site on the planet, and that is the truth. Um, there are so many great people that I have uh, come to know and um, greatly admire for their journey and they serve as my inspiration just as many of you have said that I am inspiration to you. I am greatly flattered. I am greatly humbled by this because um, I I'm not, <laughs> I'm not making the best progress in the world and we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, but to the members of Team DDP Yoga uh, that have been a source of inspiration and or information and or a kick in the pants um, Rev Kev, Hack uh, Sparky, Robert uh, Muhammad um, Stacy uh, Arthur um, Ray aka w, former WCW wrestler uh, Glacier um and uh, I'm sure that I'm going to forget other names, but um, and I have, or I've top of my head. But again, thank you all, even those who I have not named, for being there and being just a great source of help and feedback and inspiration to me. Um, of course, this all started when I watched. Arthur's video, which I've posted several times, the link to. Um, however, there is a new video of Arthur that has been posted that I feel better chronicles his journey and is much more inspirational than even his first video. How inspirational? In 24 hours, it hit a half a million views, and it's been cross-posted to the Huffington Post, to AOL, to MSN, um, and to many other different sites out there on the internet. Um, it's just blown up. Um, so much so that a friend of mine from high school <laughs> sent me the same link saying, I hope this serves as a source of inspiration to you. My response was, it already is. I'm on the program. So... <laughs> Um, thank you, Misty, for sending me that post, and it just makes me feel good to know that I am a uh, part of something that is going to hopefully ignite a wildfire in getting people inspired to do things to better themselves and to live their lives at 90%. Um, as for video, as for my own videos, as I said, I have not posted any. Again, I apologize, and I'll probably say at least four more times in this video. Um, I do have some videos recorded. I just need to do some. Uh, some I need to pull them off my camera and do a little um, minor editing to them. Um, 
so they're either not as long or I've cut out the extraneous stuff at the beginning and or end that happens when you pick a camera up and put a camera down and all that kind of stuff um, but I will have those posted here in the very near future um, one of them will show my weight from April 30th um, which I had which I did as a uh, I did that as a uh, part of a challenge I'm in with another DD, Team DDP Yoga member, um, old Nelson. Um, I'm wondering where you are because I haven't seen a thing from you. So um, I hope you're doing okay. If you are, um, I guess you I guess you just decided to uh, back out on the challenge. So if you're not up for it, hey, just. Uh, just go ahead and concede, post that you concede to the whole thing, and we'll just, uh, I'll just make sure Steve sends that belt my way. Anyway, currently I'm seeing somewhere in the neighborhood of 320 pounds. And I have a weigh in coming up on the 15th. I will still do that weigh in, but I won't post it. Uh, the reason why is because I have actually set a goal for myself for the 23rd, which is my 36th birthday. And my goal is to be under 300 pounds for the first time in Lord knows how long. And I so want to achieve this goal. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, right after I finish recording this, I am going to jump in and do a, uh, a triple workout of uh, Fat Burner, Strength Builder, and Red Hot Core, um, which is part of another challenge I'm doing, a separate one, where we are being asked to do certain combinations of workouts five out of seven days. Strength Builder plus one plus Red Hot Core plus one other, or Diamond Cutter plus Red Hot Core, or Double Black Diamond versus Red Hot Core. And Double Black Diamond is the hardest workout in the set. I have not even looked at that video yet. It's probably going to be my birthday present to myself, is I'm going to do... Um, is I'm going to do Red Hot Core. It'll probably end up being done on the 24th since I work late that day. Anyway, um, just uh, if you would allow me a minute to get a little bit personal, um, I've I've mentioned a few. Th I've mentioned this, uh, I think, in my very first video, but just it serves to rehash, um, just so people who may be stepping in on this for the. Um, this video, as or this podcast, so to speak, as their first exposure to my journey, you know, I've this has been a real struggle for me to get over my weight. <clears throat> um, I'll be honest; I really have let myself go over the past several years. Um, after my son's accident, I I seem to I guess I stopped caring and I just um just kind of went off. And, uh, I'm, you know, I chose to do this for myself to make myself a better husband and father by being able to be there for my family, um, longer than, uh, longer than my dad was. He died before he turned 50. Um, I'm sorry, he died at the age of 50. Um. And it was, and he died of heart troubles. He had had several heart attacks um, when I was younger, and so it was, you know, it was hard when uh, when he passed. And you know, I dealt with a lot of crap when I was a kid. Uh, I was overweight as a kid, uh, save probably time from about eighth grade to about my freshman year of college um i was i was pretty overweight um so in my 7th grade year i was the whip was cracked and i ran 3 times a day and i lost about 40 pounds and i looked good and i kind of maintained thanks to doing marching band and things like that but um since leaving college, I've pretty much, uh, and probably even before even leaving college, I've kind of slowly but steadily let things go, and I tried running again 
about five, six years ago. Did okay with it, but it was just way too much stress on my body. Um, just way too hard on me. And um, I may go back to it at some point in the future, but not not anytime soon. As I said, it's, it's difficult to be teased because of your weight. And it even happens when you're when you get older. If you're overweight and you think, oh, when I turn when I turn sixteen, when I graduate high school, when I graduate college, um, when I finally get out in the workforce, if you think the teasing stops because you're overweight, I wish I could tell you it doesn't. It does. But there's some really sick, mean, ruthless bastards in this world that will do anything possible to bring someone down because they don't fit the mold. And if you're one of those people who are struggling with that, I'm here to tell you that, uh, I'm here to tell you three important things. Number one, don't let them get to you. I realize that's probably one of the most difficult things you can do. But part of living life at 90% is understanding that life is 10% what happens and 90% how you react. So, don't let them get to you. It's that simple. Number two, know that even in spite of all the crap you hear, There are people in this world who care about you, who love you, who support you, and who want to see you get better. Now, those may be family, it may be friends, it may be people you don't even know yet, like the people on Team DDP Yoga, or anywhere else. Find those people. Get surrounded by them. Don't get sucked in by the people who look at you and go, oh, you're just big bone. Oh, you just have a hormone problem. Oh, you just have XYZ um, condition. If you do, that's understandable. But don't let that define you. Find people who are willing to help you and willing to push you to get better. Number three, most important thing of all that if you're in that position and you do need somebody to talk to post a message on this video post your comment I'll receive your message I will be more than happy to talk to you I've been there I have been in that boat and I've been down I've been really down I've had times where I have not felt happy with myself and I've wanted to pretty much start a slow death sentence by just essentially eating myself to death. I'm here. And if and if what helps you is just me talking to you, great. If you need something more drastic, I'm going to point you in the direction of Team DDP Yoga and getting DDP yoga and and doing what you can to get yourself better there it is possible if you don't believe me that it's possible to get better then you haven't watched Arthur's video and I suggest you stop this right now click on the link to watch Arthur's video and then when you're done come back here and tell me otherwise I'm sorry to make it sound, sound kind of down and serious but it, I f- really felt the need to say that just now. That the people who are struggling in this world with their weight have no excuse if they're not happy with how they feel. There is no excuse for them to circle the drain and put themselves in a position where they essentially eat themselves to death find help and like I said I'm kind of, I'm making myself open for that offer because I, I 
I can't I can't sit by and watch someone die. I saw a video about a month ago, oh, maybe about a month ago, give or take, of a young man who was morbidly, morbidly obese, overweight, morbidly obese. It broke my heart. It broke my heart because I myself am currently in a state of morbid obesity if you really get down to the, if you look at the numbers. And I reached out to him and said, you need to look into this. I don't know where he stands now. I haven't seen or heard, I haven't seen any videos posted lately or anything like that. So I don't know where he stands uh, or what he's doing. And I pray that he is, he has found, he has found an answer or he's found, um, or he's found himself. All right. With all that being said, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen. And until the next time, own your life and feel the bang.